Here's the Federal Reserve is now getting ready to roll out its own instant payment service called FedNow, which would be available to every bank and credit union in the country, allowing them to offer real-time payments 24-7. The Federal Reserve Bank's FedNow is scheduled for launch by the end of July. FedNow is officially an update to the Federal Reserve's payment processing and settlement system and appears to be a backdoor to creating a central bank digital currency. Private blockchain operator Tassat has partnered with the Federal Reserve's new payment system and will serve as an interface for FedNow. FedNow will also connect with Metal Blockchain, whose CEO and founder claims will allow banks to prepare for an eventual central bank digital currency. Last week in China, the World Economic Forum proclaimed that the entire world needs to switch to a central bank digital currency with expiry dates and restrictions on undesirable purchases. And the one final note I will uh, make is that if you think about the benefits of digital money, there are huge potential gains. It's not just about uh, digital forms of physical currency. You can have programmability, you know, um, units of central bank currency with expiry dates. You could have, as I argue in my book, a potentially better, and yeah, some people might see it, or a darker world where the government decides that units of central bank money can be used to purchase some things, but not other things that it deems less desirable, like, say, ammunition or drugs or pornography or something of the sort. And that is very powerful in terms of the use of a CBDC. They proposed using artificial intelligence to censor hate speech and disinformation on the Internet and using artificial intelligence to control a global social credit system that will involve wearable devices with sensors to monitor everyone's actions. We are on the brink of a dramatic change where we are about to, and I'll say this boldly, we're about to abandon the traditional system of money and accounting and introduce a new one. And the new one, the new accounting, is what we call blockchain. It means digital. It means having a almost perfect record of every single transaction that happens in the economy. Today, the European Commission has published the legislative draft for the European uh, digital, for, for, the, for the digital euro, for, the, for our CBDC. And that gives me hope because I think that it, it, it really demonstrates the capacity to innovate, the capacity to work as a team. If we are to be successful, uh, CBDCs could not be fragmented national propositions. To have transactions more efficient and fairer, we need systems that connect countries. In other words, we need interoperability. Uh, and for this reason, at the IMF, we are working uh, hard on the concept of a global CBDC platform to trade and to manage risks. We're developing through technology, an ability for consumers to measure their own carbon footprint. What does that mean? That's where are they traveling? How are they traveling? What are they eating? What are they consuming on the platform? So individual carbon footprint tracker. Mm. Stay tuned. We don't have it operational yet, but this is something that we're working on.